Ever wondered why truck drivers transport massive steel coils in a way that could literally kill them? It is so risky they call it suicide style because if something goes wrong, it will roll straight into the driver's cabin. Just one steel coil can weigh up to 60,000 pounds, which is roughly the weight of 15 mid-size SUVs, each weighing around 4,000 pounds. But surprisingly, many experienced drivers actually prefer this loading style. Let me explain why. During any form of cargo transport, forces act on the cargo. The moment a vehicle increases speed, slows down, or changes direction, the cargo wants to move because of its inertia. The damage a steel coil can cause is huge. Once the giant coil gets loose on the highway, there is no stopping it, and it will certainly end in multiple tragedies. The proper transportation of steel coils on public roads is a matter of life and death. When you see these huge steel rolls on trucks, you probably wonder, this looks super dangerous. Why not just lay them flat on their sides? That would stop it from rolling, right? To answer this, let's first explore some ways these massive coils are loaded onto flatbeds. There are three ways to load these coils onto flatbeds. Suicide, shotgun, and eye to the sky. Suicide coil is where the eyes of the coil are to the sides of the truck. Shotgun is where the hole is facing front to back along the length of the truck. An eye to the sky is when the hole is facing straight up to the sky. Several reasons determine how the coils are loaded onto flatbeds, but the primary reason is how the receivers want it, which depends on the type of equipment they will be using to load or unload. This image perfectly demonstrates all three ways of loading. Each type of coil is being delivered to different customers. Each loading method has its advantages and challenges. Let's start with the shotgun loading. As discussed earlier, the receiver dictates the type of loading. But one reason for choosing shotgun loading is when the coils are wider, usually with a width of more than 75 inches. Wide coils are loaded shotguns because loading them suicide makes no room for securement chains and binders. You will run out of space for binders if you accommodate a wider coil in suicide style. Also, the drivers will have a hard time using their mirrors. Coil racks and friction mats block only the outer layer, and if something goes wrong, it can result in telescoping and violent unraveling. The main disadvantage of shotgun loading is that some refer to it as the homicide load. Because if the coil comes loose, it doesn't roll toward the driver. It rolls sideways, into nearby vehicles, putting other families on the road at risk. Another challenge with shotgun loading is that it's expensive to load and unload. Regular forklifts or forklifts with a coil ram attachment usually can't handle these coils. Most of the time, shotgun loaded coils require an overhead crane, eye to the sky loading. Eye to the sky coils are also called skidded coils. This is the loading style, which you are thinking should be the way to go. And the fact is you are right. Eye to the sky is a very stable and least dangerous load method when it comes to rolling towards the driver or rolling towards a family. However, it is usually used for lightweight coils such as aluminum intended for canning plants. They are loaded onto plastic or wood pallets, and in most cases, forklifts are used to load and unload them. Once the weight exceeds 20,000 pounds, securing the coil using the eye to the sky becomes a challenge. X-pattern securement over the top just doesn't hold as effectively, and loading or unloading requires costly specialized equipment like massive forklifters, overhead cranes with special tongs, which are not affordable for every company. Overhead cranes with tong have slippage problems and there are not many around. Also, it's expensive and time-consuming to flip it back up to a horizontal orientation to be used by coil-up ender machines. This is where suicide style starts making more sense. First off, it is way easier and faster to load and unload suicide coils using a forklift with a coil ram attachment. The steel coils are rolled and packed tightly in the mill. This style keeps the tension of the coil and prevents it from unraveling violently. Coil racks and friction mats block the entire coil not just the outer layer like in shotgun loading. Suicide coils are easy to secure, just throw chains through the eye. Securement through the eye of the coil is more effective than on top of it, like in the eye to the sky loading. It's considered less dangerous for other drivers on the road because if something goes wrong, the driver takes the risk, not the surrounding traffic. You have probably seen those shocking videos of suicide coils crashing into the driver's cabin. In almost all of those cases, the coils had no proper securement. So now you know why suicide coil loading is the go-to choice for many drivers. There is also another safe way of transporting steel coils, and that is through custom-built trailers, 
used by American logistics company Adams Trucking. These specialized trailers cradle a single coil in a pocket and allow for additional securement with designated tie-down points. Specific coil trailers are great, but they eliminate any backhauls. The trailer can then only be used for coils. It is always the best practice to follow the specific securement requirements for metal coils set by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, FMCSA, a U.S. government agency under the Department of Transportation. These regulations are designed to enhance safety and ensure compliance with federal laws. Detailed guidelines can be found in Section 393.120 of the FMCSA Cargo Securement Regulations. If you found this video interesting, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.